What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I'm just waking up not too long ago, and I saw this article pop up, and I definitely said, you know what? I want to make a video talking about this. Uh, I definitely want to get my thoughts and opinions on it, and uh, it kind of adds some more backstory to the whole Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out situation. So, this article from the Sportster.com, uh, Sasha Banks. Beef with WWE stems back to WrestleMania 38, Ronda Rousey's decision. Okay, so we're going to see how this played a part, but it kind of makes sense. The whole Ronda Rousey coming back and uh, it kind of changed the way I'm, I'm guessing what the card was supposed to be. But let's get right into this. According to a report, Sasha Banks wasn't just upset about the creative for the six-pack challenge match that was set to take place on this past Monday's episode of Raw. Her issues with WWE allegedly go back to before WrestleMania 38 when Banks was told to play second fiddle to Ronda Rousey. A match that had been booked for months was apparently changed when the news that Ronda would be available for WrestleMania became clear. It was then WWE shifted gears and took Banks out of the planned match with Charlotte Flair and moved her into the tag team with Naomi. While Banks was reportedly fine to make the most of her tag team opportunity with Naomi, the sting of being treated as a second rate compared to, Ron, to, to Rousey never sat right. If you then accompany her being pulled from the Charlotte match with the fact that uh, WWE has been treating the women's tag division as an afterthought, one might begin to understand why Banks became so frustrated and the tensions mounted to a point that things boiled over. As per a report by the uh, Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer, Sasha has always had issues. She had she was mad that Ronda got the, the WrestleMania spot. It was planned for Sasha and Charlotte Flair, which was planned for months. I wrote about it, he adds. She got moved down and they gave her the tag belts as kind of kind of like a concession because she got moved down. Meltzer goes on to say that Banks felt lied to, but that he notes that she failed to grasp how big a marquee draw Rousey is. Banks uh, should understand Rousey's value. The fact that WWE didn't know R R Rousey would be a able to make a return for WrestleMania forced them to make other plans early. Understandably, when Rozzy got herself in a good enough shape and was able to make it, the company changed plans in an effort to showcase Rousey. Melzer notes, but to not understand that they picked Ronda ahead of you for WrestleMania and, and to get mad about it? Yes. Did they tell you? Yes. Does that make you a good team player? No. If you don't understand that Ronda is a much bigger star than you, for that show, WrestleMania, there's no doubt Ronda is a much bigger star than Sasha Banks in that spot. And uh, that's pretty much uh, the end of the article there. And it kind of makes sense. I, I get why she was frustrated. Imagine you sitting up there being told you're going to have a headlining spot at WrestleMania with Charlotte Flair. You had a headlining spot last year, you know, and then come to find out ronda's gonna win the royal rumble because i think that was like it wasn't like a last minute decision but you can tell you know, like they had to change things up for the rumble once once the rumors started going around that ronda was gonna be back i i even predicted myself if ronda's in this match she's winning the match and she's probably gonna headline wrestlemania now i think a lot of us pure like hardcore wrestling fans in hindsight Seeing Ronda and Charlotte go at it at WrestleMania was not the play. That that match they had at WrestleMania was bad. It was easily one of the worst matches of both nights. It was it was boring. The match that they had at Backlash much more entertaining. Um, but I think a lot of us would have probably been okay with seeing Sasha and Charlotte go at it for the SmackDown's Women Championship over Ronda. But I also understand what Dave Meltzer is saying, and I also know how WWE works. When it comes to Mania, they're gonna do whatever it can they can to get whoever they can that they know mainstream media knows. Granted, Sasha is probably the most, like, I guess you could say she's one of the most over 
women, like the, one of the most popular women in the WWE uh, women's division. Uh, a lot of people know who Sasha is. I know she got a role in The Mandalorian. And, you know, a lot of people know who she is. She's rec she's a recognizable face, definitely a star in the company. But a lot more people know who Ronda is. And when it's all said and done, it's all about the bottom dollar. And it sucks because WWE has done this so many times. They have relied on other people that, you know, may not have been in the wrestling business, but they have a popular name. They relied on them instead of relying on the talent that you have. And that's where the issue comes into play for the current talent. We say this all the time. They go to the who's big and who has a noticeable name outside of wrestling instead of building up the people they have within the company. So it's a double-edged sword. Of course, they're going to book Ronda over Sasha. What they could have did, what they probably should have did is, and I don't know how they could have booked it, but they could have still had Sasha in that match. I think adding Sasha to that match would have probably made it even better, to be honest with you. If they could have found a way to add Sasha into that match, I think that probably would have been better because giving the women's tag team titles to them, that was literally just a, uh, I guess you could say a here you go present. Like they, Vince, all those people that booked the shows, I can tell you this now, and I'm surprised Sasha didn't notice, you know, maybe she was trying to make the best of a situation. As soon as they won those tag team titles, it, it didn't matter. They weren't going to do anything with those titles. As you can see, those titles are paperweights. Those titles don't mean a goddamn thing, and they need to get rid of them because they don't care about them. They don't. They only even brought the titles back because Sasha and Bayley pushed for it. And then once they end up dropping it to the Iconics, it was raps, bro. They don't care about those titles. Sasha should know this. She tried to make the best of the situation, but as soon as she got those titles, she should have known, yeah, it's not going to be, they're not really going to make these titles seem like nothing. They're not going to book them in meaningful feuds. Hell, they, the original plan was to potentially have Sasha end up losing to Naomi in the six-pack challenge so Naomi can face Bianca, and I guess Sasha was going to face Ronda in the end, but they were going to both lose to put over the perspective the different brand champions the raw and the smackdown women's championship champions so those titles are an afterthought and i get it i understand her frustration but at the same time it's like it's ronda rousey do i think she's good in the ring she's all right do i think her mic skills even come close to sasha banks no we can all agree sasha banks is a better in-ring performer than ronda that's there's no denying that and so Sasha definitely does deserves to be in those main event spotlights. This is true. But when it's all said and done, when it comes to Vince, all bets off. If it ain't Brock, if it ain't Roman, if it ain't Ronda Rousey, if it ain't one of those individuals, John Cena, if it ain't like The Rock, like these mega, mega stars that are even bigger outside of wrestling, you can hang it up, bro. Vince will go back to the wheel before he even pushes the talent he does have. So I understand her gripes, but at the same time, once once she knew Ronda was going to come back, it's like, I get your frustration, but it's Ronda. She's the bigger draw. And I don't even agree with it. I don't. I think you should promote who you have in the company now. And the bigger draws, they can find a spot. You know what I'm saying? But I think you... You can promote it because, once again, we saw what happened at WrestleMania. That match wasn't even nowhere near entertaining. But I think if Sasha was in the mix or if Sasha went against Charlotte, I think it would have probably been a better match. I think the feud would have been a lot better. That's just my opinion. So, comment down below. Let me know. Does this guy, does this revelation of how she felt about Ron and the whole situation, her supposedly supposed to be in the uh main well, wrestling uh charlotte at wrestlemania this this kind of i guess gives some some more backstory and understanding to why she did what she did uh this past monday night raw or does this still align uh in the same boat of 
yeah we get it we understand the frustration but she was still wrong in how she handled the situation well let me know your thoughts and opinions on this obviously this has been a very big topic for the past week and you know once again if i get any more updates on the whole situation what's going on i definitely will notify you guys but i appreciate all the love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace